heading for York. Yeah. Been to York a few times recently, haven't we, I suppose? Or at least before the, uh, the lockdown. Last year we did. Last didn't year, we? yeah. Right. We went to uh, York Caravan Park, which is a tranquil park site, so we're just coming off the A1. Onto the A64. Going towards York. Towards York, so we're carrying on. So we've never been here before, have we, to this side? No, we've driven past. Ouch! Driven past it a few times. So we've never actually been here before. It's a Tranquil Parks site, so it's an adults only site. Uh, a bit like Summers Wood is yeah, at Tranquil yeah, Parks. That's right. Tranquil Parks group. I might have a bit of a hold up along here, might yeah. I? Yeah, it saves you the, the most boring bit, or the motorway bit. So we want this junction here, first junction. Keep left to A1237, then enter the roundabout. So this will probably be the slowest ever arriving at video. <laughs> Cruel, isn't it? We can go left here. Just about fit through there. Down here. To stop at the stop sign and wait in the vehicle. Okay. The arrival procedure: arrive at park entrance as usual. Yeah. Park on the left-hand side of the driveway at the stop sign, yeah. which we have done. Yeah. Then remain in your vehicle and wait for a member of staff to greet you. Oh, here we go. Do you actually wave me forward? Well, I didn't see that bit. <laughs> Hiya. Afternoon. Hello there. My name is Earnshaw. Earnshaw. Free eggs there. Or well, free range eggs, not free eggs. <laughs> Thank you. you don't need it for a while. No. Um, have you been with us before? No. No. Just have to fetch in a few extra precautions because of the time. Okay. One of the main things really is there's no visitors on the site at the moment. There's no? Visitors. No, no. Yeah. Um, you're on pitch 55 which is just facing, just that one there. All right, okay. It's a nice easy one to get onto. Yeah, should manage that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
The toilet block is if, if you go straight on, just on your right hand side, you see the toilet block with all right. the amenities. Right, okay. In there. And that's open, is it? All open. Yeah. Okay. And when you get there, all the showers are individual shower rooms, so you're yeah. not really showering. All right, okay. All right. Okay then. Um, and you've got a bus timetable on the wall there if you want to get the bus in. Right, today, okay. Just stops across the road. Yeah. It's every hour on the half. Hour. Yeah. How long are you with us for? Well, it's only a couple of nights, I think, isn't it? Three nights. Three nights. Three, Three nights. nights. Yeah, so Three nights. Yeah, so you're on yeah, I think we're going to Kirkham Priory on oh, very nice. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I booked a ticket. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, there is some leaflets in there. We've yeah. got a laundry room as well, yeah. and there are some leaflets in there to right. give you some ideas on what to do and like okay. a map of, map of York. Yeah, all right. Lovely. Right, all right. Let all right. Thanks Thank a lot you. then. allocated a pitch. Yes. Right, so there's water and drainage on, on the pitch, is it? Well, no, yeah. it seems to be another hole there, I don't know what that one's for. Like you can't, uh, can't, can't reach. <laughs> there's a oh. yeah. and there's a like a lake behind us. Okay. Toilet blocks are over there. I didn't park very straight, did I? No. <laughs> no mind. <laughs> We're gonna have a little wander around, go and find the dog walk. storage here then? Yes, yeah. That's the motor and service point. Oh right, okay. Which you don't really need, do I? No. No, but it's useful to know. Yeah, there's a tap there and a drainage. It's curved. So it all drains into the hole pops. It's quite open, isn't it? Yeah. What do you reckon, Pops? <laughs> yeah, leave the ducks. They're not ducks, are they? More hens. More hens. And a baby it's more hen. Baby one. Leave, Poppy. Come on, leave. <laughs> That's cute, isn't it? Some ducks here. They're having a sleep. They were. Yeah. Quite nice being surrounded by the... Uh, or surrounding... Surrounding the lake. Yeah. I'm amazed how long the uh, pictures are. They're not especially wide, but they're long, aren't they? Long, yeah. I think the dog walks behind there by the looks of it. Looks like it, doesn't it? Not sure how you get in there. Right? Well, you obviously you can get in there because there's people in there. You pull <laughs> so how you get in there, not... <laughs> so all hard standing here by the looks of it, isn't it? Yeah. I guess it's round right here. Mm. Oh, so there's a dog exercise area here. Perhaps you'd better do a bit of exercise. Some push ups or something. little field and there's a little wooded area. That's quite nice. Yeah. Oh, looks like it goes both ways here, so I'll go this way. Come on. Plenty of smells. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it just goes up to the end there. 
so it just goes up there on the other end there. Right, Come on then Pops. You approve? It, approve. Yep, good. Let's have a quick look at the facilities. Go on. Their own video actually on YouTube shows the bathrooms. Oh does it? Okay. Yeah. They look lovely. That's I'll put a link to that. Yeah. That's a chemical disposal point there. That's the CDP. Oh, I'll just have a quick look up there. All right. Oh, so they're individual shower rooms then? Yes. Okay. Well, that's quite good, isn't it? Shall I stick my head in one? You could do, yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah. And the toilet, and somewhere to get dressed, wash basin, hand dryer, hair dryer, and the toilet. See well. everything in there. Mm. Yeah. And there's eight of them, is there eight of them? Yeah. There's eight of them the Yeah, and plus loos as well, so there's separate showers disabled. That's good. Yeah, there's a pizza. And the fresh pizza will be visiting the park. Okay. Why not give them a try? Yep. Yeah. We order newspapers. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Quite like the idea of the separate bathrooms yes. and yeah. shower rooms. You know, you might use the bathroom then. Still a bit wary because yeah. of. Uh, oh. Was you still a bit wary? <laughs> Don't like to suck. No. No. Oh, I might give it a go. Quite, been quite enjoying using our own. <laughs> yeah. You can carry on using your own if you want. More area over there. It's quite a big, big site, isn't it? It is. Once again, because I've still got my short hose with me, I didn't bring my long flat one, the hose doesn't quite reach, so what I'm going to do is I'll demonstrate the use of the mains water filling kit. And it's like a, like a ball cock arrangement that you've got in your tank. There's a little float thing there. And you put it in, in here. And you turn it around. And you connect your hose to that and you can fill from there. Because if I've done this right, it's kind of see in there. If I've done this right, that ball cook should stop the water coming in. When it's full. Let's give it a go. It's coming in. Yeah. And then it should stop when it, it gets about half full, I think. Half full? Well, when it reaches about that level there, yeah. the ball cup goes up and cuts the water off. Like a toilet. Like, like a fresh water tank at home. Yeah. Like your cistern at home. Which then means, obviously, I can put it about there. And then I can fill up with my normal pump. And the 
was another reason for having an aqua roll. But I suppose if I brought the longer hose in the first place. <laughs> anyway, you can see why you might want to use this that. This is just another way of doing it. Yeah, I mean, we've got, I mean, over the years we've collected so much stuff, really, haven't we? Yeah. Aqua roll, Wastemaster, mains kit. I think we had the mains kit when we had a, a whale connector on the Starfire. And it would cut off automatically. External pump on that. Yeah, it was a whale connector which cuts the water off when, when the tank's... No, it doesn't. Um, it has a valve and it only lets water in when you s switch it on, basically. So it means you, on that you can leave the hose connected permanently. Right, so it's now stopped. So there is some water in there. And now hopefully my pump will reach. <laughs> that means more water in there. Yeah. So as you fill up the tank with your pump, it lets more water into the aqua rod. So you, but you've still got to keep an eye on the level for the tank? Y yeah, you? obviously you've got to keep an eye on the level in the tank. Did you check what it was before you started? No, I didn't because I came out here <laughs> to film it. <laughs> Do you think one of us ought to go and check? Though? I think you should. We I'll hold Poppy then. Yeah, so that's a bit of a long drawn out process. It takes quite a long time to fill it with this pump. I'll put this away. I've got the poppy's chairs out. She doesn't seem to want to use them yet. Go and sit me, Go and sit over there. Just put this stuff away. There you go. <laughs> poppy's got a chair. You sat on a lead, but... Yeah. Right, poppy's sit. For those who doubt my taste in beer, <laughs> moves the fosters. <laughs> well, that's it. We're going to have a nice, relaxing afternoon in the hazy sunshine. Still very humid today. Did you mention the buses? Oh, yeah, I'm going to mention the buses. Yeah, the buses stop out just out outside. There. Just out there, one way goes to Scarborough and one way goes to York. Yeah, only two miles from York, aren't we? From the centre of York here. Yeah, we're nearer than uh, than we were at Beechwood Grange then. Mm, probably just slightly, yeah. yeah. How much was it here? I think it was 96 from memory. Can I just look it up? Yeah. Right, so how much was this then? Well, because we're in the high season, it was £32 a night. Yeah. So we're staying for three nights, so that's 96 Included is two adults, motorhome, caravan or tent with one car, super pitch with 16 amp electric and water hookup. Yeah. A digital TV hookup. Not sure I haven't hooked up yet. No, own receiver required. Convenient all-in-one lighted service bollard. Yeah, What's that behind, thing behind us, yeah. Yeah, so obviously it comes on with a light later. <laughs> <laughs> no extra charge for awnings, free hot water and showers, uh, free Wi-Fi, free use of ice pack freezer, one dog free of charge. Now the extra for a dog is £1.50 so per you, night. So if you brought Tara? But if we brought Tara, it would have been £1.50 extra and if you bring an extra person it's nine pound extra a night right. okay and if you're an extra large unit yeah it's uh over 27 foot it's four pound extra a night right yeah you know, other thing it says is extra car yeah Char car park owner i don't know whether they would have charged us for bringing the car don't normally do they? no i think if you well if you bring an extra car then obviously you put it in the car park yeah. Which is over there somewhere. Yeah. And then you, a late stay up to 5 pm is £10 extra. Yeah. An early arrival is 9 am to 12 pm right. is £8 extra. 
an extra tent on the pitch is six pound extra. Right. Or eight pound with electric. I think that's about it. You get a discount if you stay longer than ten nights during low or mid season. Also for tents that do not require an electric hookup. Okay. We had to pay a deposit, didn't we? Yeah. Um, pay was it ten pound a night? Something yeah. like that. Yeah, and yeah. then we had to pay the balance before we came. Yeah. 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 So there, there was there was no transaction really at the gate. It was just uh, getting the uh, barrier fob. And, yeah. Uh, being out, being shown the pitch, well, being allocated a pitch, which was obviously this one. Yeah. Just by the front entrance, really. Yep. It's okay, there's a little bit of um, traffic noise. Not too bad, though. It's huge, though, this pitch. It is, length, it's it? length, yeah. I mean, you could probably fit the van and the car lengthways easily on this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you could fit your awning, couldn't you, here? Yeah, you could certainly put an awning on here. Which is free of charge, yeah. as I told you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so that's it. If you uh, like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, and we'll catch up with you in the next one. Put the awning up. So it's quite a big awning, and it comes with this pole thing. Now that end goes to the van, and it's got these extension things. So they're sort of on a spring like that. I think that end goes in there. And it's, it's spring loaded. <laughs> now, what you think you do is you put that end up there somewhere, try and get it in the middle, and then you push this, this bit in, <coughs> it sort of does that. That, rather. Can you? Can't quite get up there. Yeah, so it sort of does that. Like that. And it gives it a bit of tension, I suppose. Yeah. Thunderflies everywhere. Getting your hair and your ears and all over your handkerchief. And your beer. Mm-hmm.